to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. It's my personal commitment to God and to you to make sure that every single service becomes worthwhile many people you know you really have to understand the sacrifices that people go through and then you will know that it is only godly to ensure that people really encounter god for real are we together acts chapter 20 i will continue to draw this scripture and um, let's start with this tonight what I have to teach tonight is very powerful. Acts chapter 20 and verse 32. Can you read? If you can see it, please read. One to read. And now, brethren, uh -huh, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them which are sanctified. You can be among those who are sanctified but not built and without any evidence of your inheritance the bible says that a man can be commended first to god and then to the word in this case he calls it the word of his grace the word of his grace being the word that is able to provide and make manifest in your life all the multifaceted possibilities that are resident in the christ the Bible says the word of his grace can achieve two things in your life. The word of his grace that is able to, number one, build you up. Everybody say build you up. And then number two, to deliver to you. Now notice how the word of God, I really want you to understand this scripture. Notice how the word of God works. It does not start by giving you an inheritance. It starts by working on you. So that when you sustain that capacity then there is nothing god is unable to give you <laughs> many times we desire things physically and spiritually that we do not have the spiritual psychological and physical stamina to receive are we together now yes this this podium is resting on a casted ground it has the ability to take the weight of this so there's no trouble your seat was designed with your weight in mind are we together now so you're sitting on that seat is not a threat at all it is able to take you but you cannot carry this speaker for instance and drop it on certain seats it will break so the bible says that the word of god scans your life and looks at the magnitude of spiritual inheritance to be given to you and then it starts by building you until you rise to that level in the spirit where no weight of spiritual substance on you can break you then it delivers to you are we together now so this is already a word of encouragement so that if nothing is being delivered to you as it were you are not discouraged because you know that it means capacity is being built are we together many times services like this are not just times of receiving things it may be times of building it is not always that something is just given like you receive something a substance many of us just want something we can receive and run with if it is god he gives gifts according to his riches there is nothing god gives a man that is small and so when god delays in giving you it is because he's allowing your capacity to be able to retain are we together yes very powerful it is not enough to receive you must sustain an ability to retain because you can lose something 
that God gives you. The Bible is full of things that were once given to men and taken back. So God is able to take advantage of his word to build me and build you. And then when we gain that stature in the spirit, then deliver to us an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Let your word come and bless us, O God, in the name of Jesus. Let me encourage you again. I say this to you from the depth of my heart and I say this to you in all truthfulness and I say this to you with all audacity. If you listen to the truths that I teach you, you will never fail. It's true. Leave your situation and the pride around it. Don't mind it. Focus on the truth you are listening to and see how forcible right words are. The Bible says how forcible. There is a force that right words, when you receive, it can exert on your situation until it bends and glorifies the Lord. So tonight, please take your eyes away from what you are trusting God to do or what has not been done. Just focus on the word. The worst spirit, in my opinion, demonic spirit now, is not death. Death is just the last enemy, not the worst. The worst spirit is not the spirit of infirmity that causes sicknesses now. The worst spirit, listen carefully, is not even demonic attack, dreaming of somebody chasing you up and down. The worst spirit is the spirit that can cause blindness in your understanding. The Bible says it is able to make even the word of God unfruitful. That the God of this world has an assignment to create a system of blindness over the minds of the people so that they are not open to the glorious gospel. It is the worst state a man can be in. Not sickness, not failure, not poverty. None of these things in themselves destroy. It is our attitude around them that empowers them to destroy us. But blindness, whether you do something about it or not, it will destroy you. Blindness. Every time Jesus saw blind people, he was very, he was intentional about their healing. Blind people are mad people. These two categories, anything that affects your eyes and your mind is truly demonic. Are we together? There are people doing exploits in the world today without hands. There are people doing exploits today without the ability to speak. There are people who do not have limbs and are doing all sorts of things. But you will seldom find a madman do anything that is impactful. There are people who can even, you know just rise above the limitations of blindness but you look at their lives and you know that it is not easy when god opens your eyes and opens your mind is a true miracle are we together now i was sharing i can't remember where now um, i think it was one of the departments i do not know that i was having a meeting with them and then i was sharing with them how that a man is not truly delivered until he receives grace that gives him passion for the word. Any man that rejects the word is oppressed, even if he does not see any spirit in his life. You don't have to have a dream of a demon chasing you. The moment there is a resentment for the wisdom of the word, it is it a sign that your life is acutely under an attack. Are we together? Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so as the word of God comes, please, I, I challenge you to open up your heart. See it as the word of his grace that is coming to you. Regardless of what the limitations are, pay attention to the word. They looked unto him and they were not ashamed. Their faces were lightened. Looking at your situation will not change anything. But if you look to the word, the word has a force that the anointing 
follows the word not a man the anointing looks like it is following a man because that man is following the word are we together now the anointing does not follow men the anointing follows the word blessed be the name of the lord be fruitful write it down that's our topic for tonight be fruitful if i were you i would say amen, amen. Hmm. open our eyes in the name of jesus let the word of god change us genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 we're reading to 28 the lord declared this year by his spirit that is our year of extraordinary fruitfulness and my assignment is to guide us by the spirit on the principles allocated um, for our fruitfulness our productivity and our efficiency in the kingdom and tonight we're dealing with something very very important genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 and elohim said let us make man so man is the subject here after our in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea the fowl of the air the cattle over the earth and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth 27 so god created man in his own image in the image of god created him male and female created he them 28 and god blessed them and god blessed them the bible didn't say and god discussed or he said to them please listen and god blessed them and said unto them some other version say and god blessed them saying so he routed the blessing through words but the blessing are not words the vehicle for communicating them is just a word he can choose to use any other mechanism remember he's god and god blessed them and said to them first instruction be fruitful and multiply not or multiply be fruitful that means fruitfulness is not the same as multiplication are we together when the bible says something or something it means either of the two holds the same value but now he's saying be fruitful then in addition to fruitfulness multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it then he says have dominion etc etc so tonight we're picking one be fruitful and we want the lord to open our eyes and to understand god's idea of fruitfulness colossians chapter 1 verse 9 and 10 praise the lord colossians chapter 1 verse 9 and 10 for this cause we also paul is speaking since the day we heard of it do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye be filled with the knowledge of his will and in all wisdom and spiritual understanding verse 10 that ye might walk worthy of the lord unto all pleasing being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of god being fruitful not in some in every good work hallelujah so we see from scripture that fruitfulness is a command fruitfulness is a command in fact jesus demonstrated in his own earth work how much he resented on fruitfulness once upon a time the bible tells us that jesus was on his way back and he saw a fig tree and that the tree had green leaves in other words it was attracting his attention but coming to the tree he discovered that there were no figs and jesus not a prophet that is still being renewed not an apostle in the making jesus himself looked at the tree and cursed the tree and said that no fruit will come out of you again and by the next day they came and discovered that it had withered right from the root so god is passionate about fruitfulness are we together please write this down to be fruitful means to increase to increase to be fruitful means to be productive fruitfulness entails increase fruitfulness entails productivity 
Fruitfulness entails enlargement and expansion. Are we together? Fruitfulness entails evidence. Evidence. You are fruitful to the degree to which your life can produce evidence. What evidence? Evidence of the faithfulness of God. Evidence of the investment of God upon your life. Evidence of the supremacy of the word in your life. Why do we need to be fruitful? It's important we know. Let me just address that because we have a lot to deal with. Why do I need to be fruitful? Because, you know, there are Christian circles today, well-meaning, that think subjects like this should not be, the believers should not be bothered with the subject of fruitfulness. Why? Because most times when we talk of fruitfulness, all they think about is money and physical things. They just look at fruitfulness um, in terms of affluence, physical and material blessings, and then they convince themselves that anyone can live without them. And then they assume that all those things are distracting. But the Bible says we need to be fruitful in every good work. Every good work. Every good work. Are we together? Why do we need to be fruitful? John chapter 15 and verse 8. We'll still make reference to that scripture, but please go with me very quickly to John 15. I pray that God opens your eyes to understand this once and for all. Mm. Verse 8. Herein is my father glorified when you bear much fruit how is the father glorified when you bear much fruit when you bear much fruit when a man pays the school fees of his son and the son returns back with a report card and says daddy out of 90 students i took number one and my average is 91 i am doing well that child is fruitful that child justifies the investment of the school fees are we together but on the flip side, if the child returns back with a report card and is written there, need to see the parent. And zero from top to bottom. Is that child fruitful? No. The, the father is angry for many reasons. One, he's angry because he's the father. Are we together? Just being the father alone is enough to upset him. The owner of this child that is carrying this shape. Are we together? Two, because his resources, a symbol of his energy, was committed into that boy's life. So the Bible says the father is glorified when we justify his giving us the Holy Spirit. When we justify his giving us his wisdom, his favor. Remember our scripture here that has become an anthem. When God makes all grace to abound towards you, he expects fruitfulness. In other words, he, in his mind, he does not see that there should be an excuse in your life. Because all grace has been well coordinated towards you. If you're with me, say amen. amen. The father is glorified when the saints bear fruit. All kinds of fruits. Number two, bearing fruit also inspire and encourage you. Most people do not know that when they bear fruit, their, their own spiritual lives also continue to grow. Spiritual barrenness is very dangerous. And barrenness in every regard is dangerous. Biologically speaking, when people experience any kind of barrenness, it's not something that is received with gladness. It's something that challenges them, can even destroy their marriage. So we know for sure that any form of barrenness calls for action. Are we together now? Yes. Hearing is my father glorified. But then God gives you consolations that my life is producing fruits. Producing fruits producing fruits the third reason why we need to bear fruits is because our fruitfulness is a message to the world that God is true our fruitfulness is a witness that can cause men to believe in God very important John chapter 1 please 
and verse 6 john chapter 1 john chapter 1 and verse 6 our fruitfulness there was a man sent from god the bible says whose name was john seven the bible says he the same came for a witness what was his assignment to bear witness of the light that through his witness all men might believe so when you are fruitful through your witness men might believe god is depending on men to believe in him but their faith is routed through your results are we together now that means that there is a dimension of my result and your result that has the capability has the ability to make men believe god if it is true that we are passionate about seeing his glory revealed then we must truly desire to be fruitful to the end that men look at our lives the last verse galatians 1 yes 24 and they glorified god in me galatians 1 24 and they glorified god not just through me in me and they glorified god not they glorified me and they glorified god in me are we together gentiles need to see the light the results the evidences of god's hand upon our lives let me tell you something my brothers and my sisters results are a language it is true when you bear fruit even fruit that abides it is a language that speaks to creation about the faithfulness of god it is a language that attracts creation to the one true god the source of all lifting so god is passionate about our bearing fruit mighty god settle it once and for all that god is glorified in my fruitfulness settle it once and for all that god is glorified in my fruitfulness when i am fruitful when i am productive when my life begins to produce evidences that god is glorified let me tell you something about fruitfulness you can say the same thing without fruit and say the same thing with fruit and the impact will be east and west fruitfulness makes your words heavy when you have results your words are worth believing the words of a fruitful man are seldom contended with when people speak from a standpoint of results there is a compelling conviction that it brings to you and so if we want creation to subscribe to this life that we so propose day and night telling them jesus is the way the truth and the life telling them that he is the one who can lift men god is counting on our lives to be able to produce that message and in the name of jesus he will find he will find a real witness in you be fruitful is a command in the loins of prophecy when god was looking at adam and prophesying he saw joshua selman he saw koinonia and he said be fruitful in other words i forbid barrenness i forbid barrenness i forbid barrenness in your life be fruitful but like every other mystery in the kingdom there are there are we are mandated to understand the spiritual systems like i've always taught you uh, that our results depend upon i've taught you again that between your desire and the manifestation there are spiritual systems that connect them are we together i've told you the prophetic speakings of god that when god speaks he does not speak as though he's talking to a man he speaks as if he's talking to himself and so some factors will not be captured in his speakings it will take the spirit of revelation to break what god has said down so that you now see how you connect to that word god can look at you and say where is the house and you are sitting down wondering and say god who are you talking to and then he says i'm talking to myself you see that it is the spirit of revelation that will break that down 
so that you begin to understand that God does not speak like men. Knowing how God speaks is very powerful and it is a spirit of revelation that can help you and help you understand the communications of God. Are you with me tonight? Yes. So there are mysteries, secrets, principles, you can call them, allocated for fruitfulness. Wishing fruitfulness is a waste of time. Just having a strong desire for fruitfulness is a waste of time. It may be beneficial for a while because at least it can draw you to the secret place where you create the atmosphere for the spirit of revelation. According to Proverbs 18 and verse 1, it says, Desire through desire, a man having separated himself, it says he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. But that in itself does not make you fruitful. There is a lot of superstition in the body of Christ. Ask the average Christian, do you believe in results, fruitfulness, productivity? He or she will say yes. And then you ask them, how is it going to happen? Then you will hear the variety of ignorance expressed through many well-meaning words. But the bottom line is, I don't know. Some will say Jesus will do it. And it looks very right just because the name of Jesus is in part of that that erroneous statement Jesus would do it others would say I will work hard I will do my best we are called to walk circumspectly everybody says circumspectly I told you that in a man's dealings with God creativity is almost not needed it is obedience it is when it has to do with dominion and kingdom legislature that is where your creativity comes the principles that make for your greatness are not left for your guessing they are there listen please when you get this you will stop wasting your time trying to crack your brain to know God trying to crack your brain to get truth no truth is not an idea it's not just the function of the mind you don't reason truth it is revealed there is a body of knowledge allocated for your results are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. If I have this bottle of water, it's already there. My assignment is to find it. Not to try to look for a way of, of, of refining water and all of that and, 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 and purifying it. No, it's already there. This is how truth is. Don't think that truth is like many ideas that you crack your brain to just download. No. It is given and received. Otherwise, it is not there. If it is truth... Then it's not subject to the ideas of men it's something that comes from god if you get this you will be restful your assignment is to create the atmosphere for that truth to come lord what are the keys towards my fruitfulness and you remain there waiting like a waiter and the spirit of revelation comes and when it comes upon you the secret is revealed he says then the secret was revealed unto daniel listen every truth in the kingdom is revealed 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 every truth in the kingdom is revealed if it is truth then it was revealed whether the custodian of that truth admits that it was revealed or not the bottom line is that it was revealed so all of the spiritual activities that you go through for truth to come is only preparing the atmosphere for truth to come if the spirit of revelation does not bring you truth my brother and my sister you will end up conjuring Sophia human wisdom ideas that cannot stand the test of time you can think ideas you can read books here and there and connect things but truth is revealed are we together And the Lord showed me something very powerful. And that's what I want to share with us. The mystery of fruitfulness is enshrined in a very silent parable that I want us to deal with right now. Hmm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Luke chapter 8. Mighty God, open our eyes and help us see. Wherever we stop tonight, we'll pray. Luke chapter 8. We're reading the first 15 verses. Look at this. 
we call it the parable of the sower it's not the parable of the sower it's a kingdom mystery hidden in a story and kept only to be revealed by the spirit of revelation just because you read this does not mean you will have an understanding now you can give a theological explanation as to what you think was happening you can even write a book about it but my brothers and my sisters this is sealed until it is open you will never see what is there are we ready now so let's read it came to pass afterwards that he went throughout every city and village jesus now preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of god and the 12 were with him verse 2 and certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities mary all of that together they went with him verse 3 um okay so you know the bible is just giving us the setting now of all of this i think it starts from verse 4 and when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city he spake but he spake by a parable he communicated but he used a parable to hide the secret what is the parable verse 5 a sower a sower went out to sow his seed follow the story a sower no name he went out to sow his seed so whoever this sower is we know that the sower was desiring fruitfulness are we together nobody just goes to sow seeds just because he feels like throwing seeds so one the sower had seeds number two the sower was a sower are you getting what i'm saying now listen a sower went out to sow his seed and as he sowed it's amazing that everything that happened by the wayside and the rest was called sowing it was not a mistake as he sowed some fell by the wayside listen and it was trodden down and the fowls of the air devoured it two some fell on a rock and as soon as it was sprung up it withered away because it lacked moisture and some fell among thorns and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it and other fell on good ground so we know that they didn't just fall that falling is sowing because even on the good ground it uses the same word so it's not like the seed maybe a bag with holes and then it fell until it got to the good ground no he sowed there is a soil called the wayside and he sowed there and he watched what happened now the first thing we have to be thankful for is that god did not hide the failures of this sower otherwise we would have been deceived about fruitfulness the bible gives us the complete story of the struggles of this sower to the end that we may have a balanced understanding are we still together let's continue our story the bible says an order fell on good ground and it sprang up and bear fruit and hundredfold and when he had said these things he cried jesus started crying imagine that as i'm teaching you now i just finished then i, I pause and i start crying when the bible says he cried in many regards he really cried it's not just that he lifted his voice loud he really cried why did he cry he that had ears to hear let him hear how can you finish talking to people my brothers and my sisters this is jesus adult jesus not the child learning something in the temple and you stand and teach people and then start crying do you know why because they were saying wow jesus are you this smart and jesus said oh dear jesus was revealing through this story what was happening as he was teaching it was not just something that happened one day alone he was crying because there was a repetition of that story real time as he was talking he being the sower are you getting what i'm saying now yes let's go back to verse 5 now there are certain informations that we really really need to believe and understand about this to help our fruitfulness i, I just thought to explain this parable notice that jesus was so passionate about this parable he didn't allow any human being interrupt the interpretation 
he said i will interpret it myself there are many times he would not interpret certain parables he would just leave them but this one he says so that there is no confusion i will explain and in many times jesus will leave some details out in explaining a parable but this one every single detail was explained to tell you his level of passion let's go to verse 9 let's finish and then we'll come back to verse 5 go to verse 9 and his disciples asked him saying what might this parable be are we ready now let's hear jesus interpret his own parable and he said unto you hallelujah it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of god this is how he started interpretation jesus interpreting now and i said leave that matter the reason why i will interpret this to you is because that thing you see is a coded message but unto you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of god but to others in parables that seeing they might not see and hearing they might not understand every time the bible use hearing twice the second hearing is understanding are we together now next verse now the parable is this i love jesus now the parable is this number one the sower the seed is the word of god mm. the seed is what not a business idea we are talking fruitfulness here the seed is not an investment plan listen carefully the seed that produces that harvest is the word of god number two those by the wayside are they so those soils are people listen carefully people who have hearts the wayside are people the rocks all of that they they are different states of people's hearts notice the goal is to produce result but everything is happening inside a man's heart it just uses a farm to explain the entire labor of that fruitfulness is happening within the man not outside the man are we together tonight it says those by the wayside are they that hear then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts are we together now out of their hearts not out of their life he did not touch anything external he just came into their hearts removed the seed of the word of god and left every other idea there he didn't tamper with their ideas they didn't tamper with all their plans he just carried the word factor and left every other thing and the bible says lest they should believe and be saved they on the rock are they which when they hear they receive the word so they are an improvement to the first set the set the first set just heard but the second set heard and received the word with joy remember what the bible says about joy it says they fulfill the spiritual law here with joy and then the bible says and these have no root which for a while believe and in time of temptation fall away next verse and that which fell among tongues are they which when they have heard go forth and are choked the first set heard the second set heard received added joy the third set had and took action are you seeing now all an improvement to themselves and were choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection that means they started bearing fruit but the fruit could not mature the last set 15 but that on the good ground are they look look at look at this look at this they are they which in an honest and good heart having heard the word keep it and bring forth more fruit with patience they are not creative people what made them good was honesty that they had an honest and a good heart and by that honesty they were given an ability to keep it and the bible says they produce fruit for soils. jesus is teaching on fruitfulness now let me tell you this kingdom mysteries are very foolish and childish they were designed that way 
so that you have to be like a child to understand their operations and that is the reason why many people never become fruitful and never get results because of the simplicity and the childlike character of spiritual communication are we together now look at this i am very grateful to god that the sower himself was not mentioned the bible never told us who the sower was so the sower could be anybody the bible tells us what the seed was and the soils the reaction how they were planted and the results are you getting what i'm saying now now watch this very carefully do you know that we need to congratulate this sower first for his patience and endurance because whoever this sower was it is true that he had to survive a lot when you plant a seed and then it dies then you go to another soil and it improves a little then you go to another soil and it improves a little the bible is very careful to let us see the transitions of this man and saying that all of it is part of an equation that can be captured in, on your journey to fruitfulness the same sower continued to do this until he got to a point what was the difference my brothers and sisters between the wayside and a hundredfold returns the wayside once upon a time now a benefactor of a hundredfold returns every soil was a description of a level of development and the corresponding challenges that would stop that man listen the first we see in the life of that person the wayside according to Jesus's own interpretation was a revelation of extreme carelessness you can know that whoever was the possessor of that heart condition was a careless person are we together now there was no discipline at all for the devil to you only enter a man's house and freely pick something without him unnoticed if the doors are not closed there is no system of guidance he did not place value on the information and there are people like that all over the world the moment the word of God comes to bless them they, they, they are sympathetic to what the preacher is saying and they hope they are understanding but quite honestly they do not mind whether the information is lost or not it has not become precious and valuable they have not seen the usability of that information and so the press to guard and to protect is not there are we together? You only protect what you have value for. If you do not have value for it, you may not protect it. When you finish eating your biscuit in a, in a, um, the, the uh, what they call it now, the, the satchel or so, you throw that thing inside a dustbin. Why? Because it doesn't mean anything for you again. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, forget about true success and fruitfulness. If the word of god and the truths delivered do not mean a lot for you you have to get to a point where you have a desperation a hunger and a thirst for truth remember that we prosper according to the third epistle of john according to the prosperity of our souls and the bible says that the end of your faith is the salvation of your soul the renewal the transformation of your mind are we together let me digress a, 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 a little bit and let's go back to our ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20. now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly so god's ability here is not in doubt the bible says he is able to do to be able means to be capable to be able means it is within your power and it is within your jurisdiction the bible says he is able to do abundantly above all that we ask or think let's hold it there ask or think i've explained it here when you say ask or think that means your asking and your thinking carries equal value in the spirit that both your asking and your thinking are both prayer requests that rise to god your asking can be saying god bless me and your thinking say god i just changed my mind don't waste your time again 
and that both of them are prayers that can rise to God. The Bible says God is able to do what we ask or do what we think. The thought realm was where the entire story in the parable of the sower was. It, it was an interaction in the soils of their hearts and their minds. Notice that when in the interpretation of those things, very little was talked about their hands and any physical energy. It was an activity of their minds that determined their failure or their success and even the extent of the success. The deliverance that comes through transformation is a much needed deliverance in Africa, is a much needed deliverance around the middle belt around the north we need a radical shift in our perceptions and in our understanding otherwise we will continue to mock and flatter ourselves and never give room for the fullness of the glory and the power of god to manifest ask someone what do you think is the key to lifting and rising the next thing they begin to tell you all kinds of stories they tell you get a good job they tell you do a good business others will tell you find a good relationship you know somebody who is a destiny helper etc etc those things only matter when these foundational things are in place listen my brothers and my sisters the beginning of your success is when the word of god arrives in your heart and in your mind not when you get a job the starting point of all fruitfulness is the arrival of the word that lives and abides forever your heart and your mind write it down please your heart and your mind a major part of your fruitfulness happens there the manifestation the manifestation is something that can happen suddenly man of god listen to me businessman listen to me career person listen to me the external factor plays a very 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 small role in your overall success you are a reflection of the prevailing power of the world within you you are a reflection of the the maturity of the word of god in your heart and in your mind your heart and in your mind that means that the word of god alters your perceptions the principles of the word of god have gained entrance into your mind i'm more concerned about the mind part because that is where the stronghold of demons the stronghold of territorial limitations dwell many times when the devil wants to keep people fruitless do you know what he does he makes sure that the word of god cannot get to their mind but every other thing can get to their hands sometimes satan destroys you by giving to you he makes sure that your mind never receives anything your mind can receive can be buried while your pocket is full and you will anything that your mind has not received is not your own if they pay you a salary that only got to your hand you didn't receive a salary and very soon you will know no matter what it is please hear me my brothers and my sisters if it has not been captured in your spirit and your mind it's not yet your own we possess things in our hearts and our minds first before our hands demonstrate that we have gotten it our generation is obsessed with having physical things because you see when you have physical things it can give a show of results are we together now and and it can suggest some form of progress but real progress is what happens in your spirit and in your mind say my spirit and my mind one more time say my spirit and my mind we're discussing fruitfulness now so that a brother and a sister aspiring to rise to be fruitful according to the word of god that you are not listen carefully that you are not allowed it is not given to you to really experience fruitfulness 
until that happens in your mind and your life and the bible says the first seed that must enter your life and enter your mind please hear me it is not an investment idea it is not a business idea listen it is not it is not it is not um uh, what do we call it products and services they only will make sense when the word notice that the bible never tells us that the farm did not have other things but when satan came he only searched for the word and carried it and left every other thing there the word of god is an incorruptible seed listen please my brothers and my sisters get this the word of god is an incorruptible seed the mindset it says let this mind be in you philippians chapter 2 let this mind be in you and verse 5 let this thinking let this perception be in you which was also in christ jesus philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 let this mind permit this mind permit this mindset to be in you which was also in christ every blessed person every world changer whether in the kingdom and in the secular will tell you that your point of advantage is not what you have in your pocket your point of advantage is not a car your point of advantage is not the house the point of advantage is the quality of the information that your mind like a womb has received and is able to incubate show me a man whose spirit and mind has received from god I show you a man who there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to destroy his fruitfulness. It is first in your spirit and your mind. While that is happening, you're still with your trouser that you use needle and thread to sew. Doesn't matter. While that is happening, you are still in your one room with leakages everywhere stay there while that is happening there are no members coming to the church there are still you your wife and three other members don't worry you don't get the anointing just by hands laying on you the cap hands are only like a tap the hand stops on your head but the real impartation goes into your spirit when you drink water your mouth allows the water to go in and it stops but the water does not stop in your mouth it gets into your system if you leave water just in your mouth it will not do much you need to swallow it when you swallow it go to bed every other thing starts automatically the moment it leaves your mouth leave the rest a system has already been designed you don't just say water now where are you okay you are here shift left no 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 don't worry when you swallow a drug you don't look at the drug and say drug please make no mistake it's my eye not my back there is a design your job is to get it within you and let it stay sometimes some drugs take longer than others to start working there are some drugs that can even cause you to be drowsy to go to sleep so that it can really work and then it will damage everything that it needs to destroy whilst working my brothers and my sisters listen to me the foundation of true success is not running around with proposals i have a proposal I, I need capital i need this i need that no the major work that anybody will do it's not even carrying certificates all around and say just give me a job yeah, and my life will change there's nothing wrong with those things those things are profitless when your mind is barren it will not make any difference it will only convince you sociologically that you are better than someone else but sooner or later you will see that your life does not recognize those activities as progress are we together now there are many pastors who think that ministry rises just because of connections and invitations if i can sing here or preach here or do this no no your real fruitfulness is within the richness of the word of God within you the quality of the wisdom your interaction with the wisdom of God everything that happens is only a revelation of what is going on within the parable of the sower the entire 
the entire story of that parable is about the hearts of men a sower and seed the word of god the living word joshua chapter one please give it to us and verse eight joshua chapter one moses is let's let's even start from verse five give us verse five we'll read down to verse eight there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of your life as i was with moses so i will be with you i will not fail thee nor forsake you he's doing something to his mind he didn't give him a new knife and say this i sharpened this knife it can cut through trees no he's doing something to his mind that i am empowering your mind that if you can believe this no man will sustain an ability to stand before you all the days of your life and then verse 6 it says be strong and of good courage for unto these people shall thou divide look at god speaking there are giants so and god is telling him how to share the land not how to fight the giants in god's mind victory was settled i've given you victory not by giving you anything physical i did something to your mind that's your victory be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We win not just by physical fights. When our spirits and our minds agree, let every devil clear the way. It's true. Be strong and of good courage. For unto these people thou shalt divide. He didn't say you would die during war. I thought Joshua would say, come, oh God, assure me, these people have real knives. Will I die or I will live? Already, if God tells you you are going to share a land, it will be stupid to be asking whether you will die. God is saying, look, I've seen the end of it. Let me teach you how to share the land. Look, look at victors. Look at fruitful people discussing sharing the land, not fighting. We are talking about Jericho and other nations here. You are standing before a fortified city and God is saying, this is the slice. This one will go to this. Are you getting it now? So you see somebody that does not have Gary and is saying, this one will go to charity. This one is going to go to my parents. I have five siblings and I will take care of them. And you enter and say, what is happening? And you say, I'm planning. I'm planning my victory. You say, you are planning your victory. Are you aware that your mother is in the hospital and we need just 20,000 to help her? You say, I'm already planning. I know that I win. Which I swear unto your fathers to give them. Seven. Only be thou strong. What is the requirement? Be strong. Not just be skillful. Don't get me wrong. These are factors, but I'm arranging them according to order of priority. Be strong and very courageous that thou mightest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from me to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper. This is God giving a man a recipe for success. And he's not saying anything about the war he's about to fight. He's not saying follow through the back door. And not, the instruction for victory would come later. He's giving him a winning formula. Verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate during day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous who will make your way it's not only god that makes a way he can empower you to make your way and if you are not ready to make your way prosperous it's a commitment it's a call to responsibility And thou shall have good success brothers and sisters life is systemic we are not the first to enter any realm we desire not at this level God has empowered people listen God has empowered people in business in ministry spiritual life whatever area God has listen God has allowed us to see the scars of people his, his, the Bible is not just full of triumphs it's also full of failure and scars the Bible says that all scripture were written for our learning that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope so God allows the, 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 the record of many people's limitations so that you will learn be 
fruitful is a command be fruitful oh thou sower be fruitful and you're saying god change my life change my life and you're thinking in your mind capital oh god capital just give me five hundred thousand, and god you can even go out of my life and the devil is saying i like this kind of prayer i like anything that takes the word of god out of a man's life he will leave the capital with you and take the word away and you will watch with wonder how you will mess up your own life if i talk to many of us now i say what are you trusting god for in what area are you trusting God for results? I will be surprised how many of us are expecting external things to happen so that it can be proof that the word of God is working. No. When it has to do with fruitfulness, the major work is within. How many ministers will stay and build capacity with the word? There are ministers who do not have a Bible, but they already have suits in advance. And... I believe in success we teach you all the dimensions of success but let me tell you just putting pictures and photos of nice things on your wall and mesmerizing without the Word of God is Scientology you are just joking and nothing will happen it is the Word of God that empowers as many as believe him he gave them power to become Jesus said follow me follow the word and I will make you make you the maker is the word because it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow that's why business people who reject god are in trouble ministry people who reject god are in trouble career people who reject god are in trouble it's amazing how many people leave church to go and honor an appointment because they've indoctrinated themselves to believe that god is a luggage vain is the strength of a man in this world that we live in it is the richness of the word of god the richness of your spiritual understanding that translates into your fruitfulness listen invest in understanding invest in understanding before you invest in clothes invest in understanding before you invest in hair invest in understanding before you invest in cars and houses and all of this to invest in understanding is not to buy books to invest in understanding is not to watch sermons to invest in understanding is to have the preparedness to pursue exact knowledge to buy a book is one thing to read it is another thing to understand it is another thing to apply it is another thing the labor dimension of fruitfulness is done internally please listen to me the dynamics of redemption happen in the grave after the third day when everything had finished the grave hades the place of the dead Jesus is done and he's ready to resurrect. Now he comes out in glory and we see the effulgence of his glory and he calls many sons into glory. Listen, if a major part of your life is visible for all to see, you are not successful. If a major part of your life is visible for all to see, in this kingdom, people are only allowed to see a minute part in fact it is even the manifestation most of the work is done within notice that your nourishment physically only a little part of it is seen they see the food and they see it entering your mouth every other thing the digestion etc etc be fruitful as, as God has helped me to rise and grow, I found myself, I'm, I'm becoming more and more emotional to my own surprise. Because I look at people and I can understand the heart and the burden of Jesus. That he says he looks at people as though a sheep without a shepherd. And I look, I say, oh, I now see why Africa is this way. I now see why our lives are this way. And do you know, many of us believe that because we have sincerity, life must answer to us sincerity is very important like we learned but it is not enough something about your understanding has empowered satan to destroy fruitfulness in your life something about your understanding 
please listen understanding is important when they employ you Sam come it's looking sharp and smart look at this when when you employ Sam you are not employing your body there are few employments where they border on size are we together now any size in many jobs can do what they are employing they are employing your understanding and the time with that understanding a job is time plus understanding in someone's assignment are you seeing that now yes so the factor is your understanding i've given this analogy come come stand here for me please look at this reason with me for one moment let's assume that this brother god forbid there eh? i always give this example let's call this guy an arm robber that is a thief are we together and let's call this one a pastor a man of god looking sharp and then you are angry at this guy and you are praying that police will apprehend him because he's a nuisance to society and you are praying that god will open doors for this man to go to the nations because you consider him to be a blessing now shoot both of them now it's, it's not good to talk about shooting and a pastor but just in my example shoot both of them and let them fall to the ground dead who really died the dead body is on the ground now are you going to call the dead body a pastor is the dead body a pastor no is the arm robber is the dead body an arm robber neither the dead body nor the past the pastor's body nor the arm robber's body are the arm robbers or the pastor the pastor has gone the arm robber too has gone their bodies are there so who is really the pastor talk to me who is really the pastor this body if sam adds weight will it scatter the anointing on his head will it make him to suddenly become mad because he's not reasoning well not necessary in fact not at all are we together now if this arm robber suddenly adds weight does it necessarily stop him from having the appetite to steal this is the arm robber and this is the pastor when satan comes he doesn't need the body he goes to the mind when the mind sits on the throne then the body becomes a slave to the mind the body becomes a helpless executor of the conclusions that have happened the board meeting happens between the mind and the spirit the body is not invited the body only executes the decisions that have been agreed upon same thing with the pastor when the holy ghost comes to you like he's coming to some of you now he's not concerned about the body he's concerned about your spirit then he's concerned about your mindset hand over to him your spirit and your mind so that he will plant in you the seed of understanding and watch how your body begins to reflect what has happened within you this my brothers and my sisters is how we are fruitful in this kingdom every other thing like creativity and all of these things only answer to this foundation say be fruitful be fruitful does not mean go and do business that comes later be fruitful does not mean go and look for capital be fruitful does not mean go and do all no no the heart preparation and your mind most believers have done well in the area of the heart the spirit but our minds are terribly unfruitful our minds continue to reject the spoken word of god concerning our lives and this is my assignment that if this year if we are to experience extraordinary fruitfulness then we have to trust god to begin to transit us listen carefully to transit us from different levels of understanding there is a requisite level of understanding that can receive what god wants to give you a man who is pastoring 5,000 members and a man who is pastoring 1,000 and a man who is pastoring 100 and a man who is pastoring 10. The difference is not their size. The difference is not their tribe. The difference is not even the God they gave their lives to. The difference can, may not even be the spiritual authorities they submit to. The difference is the construction of their understanding that someone has allowed the holy spirit to construct his value system 
to be so flawless that he knows how to engage the principles of the kingdom and the physical results show while he's activating these things every member that comes to him is in his house but something from within you calls them and it's not just anointing the health of your mind is a force too it can call the same way it can drive please listen to me my brothers and my sisters if you intend to be fruitful except it's just a cliche you know and, and and many times in africa i think this is the reason why we like signs and wonders not because they are such a big deal alone we like it because we believe it is a cheaper route to results just prophesy apostle why waste your time to teach this didn't god anoint you for me I mean, just get bottles of oil here, touch my head, and just like that other person testified. That you bear fruits that abide. While, while I was sitting down here, we just had a brief, maybe 10 seconds discussion with Ejimi, and he said, he shared a scripture that just blessed me. And he said, the Bible says, strong men retain wealth. Powerful. You are not strong just because you have it. The ability to retain it means you have conquered the forces that try to take it from you are we together when you lift um, this weight you don't just pick it up and drop it down and win you must hold it for some time it's proof that it's, it didn't just happen you hold it there while you are shaking and then at a point they say you have the point has been proven that this one you qualify to lift that weight so there are things that when you hold if you are not spiritual and you did not hold it indeed it will slip away but holding it for a while qualifies that you held it through knowledge we don't hold things with our hands our hands only support what our mind has held the real instrument for holding things is your mind when it's too heavy for your mind your hand can support but you don't hold things with your hand Is God speaking to us? You are seated here right now looking at me, swimming through a maze of challenges maybe, and believing that you came for koinonia so that you will experience transformation. Could be in ministry, could be in business, could be in whatever it is. But then the Lord is saying, I am limited by your understanding. There is something about your understanding that is not allowing me bless you. And let me tell you this. You see why Jesus wept. Any man of God who is committed to transformation knows how frustrating it is. It is difficult to get members to receive. That's why we take our time and pray. Not necessarily because what we are saying saying it's not necessarily the prayer that brings it are we together when revelation comes the truth is there but praying that when the seed is planted that the minds of the people can receive let me tell you less than 10 percent of members really follow and grow on the information they are given that's why testimonies are scarce that's why there are supernatural instant testimonies but not sustainable ones you will hardly see a member testify back to back for two months he usually will come once and you don't expect to find him again because most of the testimony was not gotten through knowledge prophetic intervention one miracle here i fell under the anointing and the next day this happened so i get a job by a prophetic word but i never get promoted you see that because the understanding that will make me that 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 trustable is not there i had the privilege to have a conversation with a very very notable uh, man you know one of the you know the second in command in one of the great institutions in this nation and then while he was talking to me and we were discussing he told me he said my apostle let me tell you it is not true that there are no jobs it's just that the level of mental depravity of the average young man with risk and this is a born again believer he said we are frustrated every time we take people to come for interviews as they talk we just continue to look at them and the privilege of marking school of ministry scripts has taught me that it is true you know we insult lecturers we insult everybody they gave me they gave me i have done at least you know i love god and i love you i have marked things that i've said my god how in the world does this person plan to that's why 
teachings like it doesn't matter what happens in your mind just receive the anointing and rise we like it because we know that what is in there if god is going to remove it it will take time but i tell you don't fight with the spirit sit down and let him take that thing let him edit your understanding and plant the word of god and my brother and my sister you will watch your life rise to reflect what god is putting within you this is another place where the error of speaking without transformation comes just to call it no sir to wear it's like opening a tap and there is no container to receive it the prophet was only comfortable to prophesy when there were vessels because the oil would be wasted without vessel to just believe that you just keep calling things at random to your life with an empty mind is a joke this is scientology and you have to be careful with all these materials we read around about the universe and all of this let me tell you by the grace of god god has granted us the privilege of light in this ministry from any dimension you look at it where vast people who are keen on knowledge so we don't speak from a standpoint of ignorance whether from business from ministry from whatever we are we are by the grace of god enlightened enough to provide the guidance that gives you balance i can tell you many people will continue to be frustrated because they lack the understanding on how the kingdom of god and his systems accurately work are we together Be fruitful is not just a prophetic declaration alone that happens automatically. Be fruitful leads you through a process. And the first of the processes is to allow the word of God to find expression in your spirit. Then to find expression in your mind. The moment your mind begins to transit, start rejoicing. With no idea, yes sir, start rejoicing. Because inevitably... The physical equivalent of everything that is already happening will begin to come to you in 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 circles of what you will think are coincidences but they are orchestrations based on a spiritual law i was sharing with the leaders and i said every time the student is ready the lecturer always shows up every time the student is ready the lecturer always shows up be fruitful he's not just speaking to your body be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful this is what will put money in your pocket be fruitful it is not the capital that is given to your hands that makes you fruitful it is not the business the investment or the job the job is only a physical platform to give your understanding expression to reward you nobody prospers from business nobody prospers from investment nobody prospers from jobs you prosper off your understanding all of these things are simply platforms that give your understanding room that's why two people can have the same platforms but different understandings and all those vehicles will produce at different rates even in the good soil it produced 30 fold 60 fold hundredfold the same way we have several people here in koinonia many of you are members workers and leaders but your results are produced at different rates same anointing same mentorship same programs same teaching different results all producing are we together if you want to be fruitful your assignment is not to just start buying good clothes thank god for that i say this because you see young people have a pressure that society is pushing on people now they look at you and say since when did you graduate you say five years say, you are still dressing like this and the next thing god blesses you with thirty thousand. off you go to somewhere in anger i must buy stretch jeans thirty thousand. i must buy this and that and you shop it you 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 shop physical things and then you put yourself under pressure and then you come back and say look this is to announce to you i have now improved we say why you say because i have a bigger house because i have a bigger car because i have a bigger this i have that to me that that is increased no sir and your mind keeps saying you are wasting your time you only bought something for someone else 
I look at your mind and the only thing you have bought is a book because that's the only thing that has stayed in your mind. That's why nobody can steal the book because your mind caught it. Every other thing can carry the way because it only came around your life but not in your mind. The wealth must be gotten here before it comes here. Are we together? Yes. Apostle, now if somebody gives me money to start a business, can't I just start and prosper? You will fail. It's not an insult. You will fail. 99% of the people who want to start business will fail. Not because there are statistics of failure. Your mind, you do not have the understanding of the system to prosper. Anybody who wants to prosper, your first assignment is to look for references and models. Transformation is easy when there are references. Not activity, not action. No. Listen, when there is no reference, your, your mind operates with imagery. And the moment there is no reference for the possibility that you want to step into, you are not going there. who is God speaking to that this thing you are doing you are just dreaming until there is a reference that's why by the grace of God we continue to walk with the Holy Spirit that he continues to lift us to make us better references listen let me tell you this if you sit under an apostolic ministry walking in signs and wonders you will enter into that grace fast because there is a reference. Your spirit can easily pick. Are we together? If your pastor is a poor man, by the grace of God, you will grow in the word. But it's going to be difficult because there is no reference. There is an impartation that results on themselves bring to you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? It's very important. That's why it's important. Every ministry and every organization rises to reflect the mindset of the leaders. It is true. Koinonia is a reflection of our mindset and also a reflection of our limitation. If you look at Koinonia and you see anything wrong, it is a reflection of the areas where personally my understanding and our understanding has not been well constructed our assignment is to bridge that gap as fast as possible through knowledge so that you will build what is akin to an edifice a proof of mastery as you grow notice you grow in the secret but you see your result on the members you stay in the secret and God brings a new level of the anointing and you start watching in the physical to see they were not there when God was giving you those new dimensions but then you begin to get it a time will come in this ministry you will start seeing people have cars in strange ways a time will come you will see people start having certain results will rise it is not just their personal faith is that there has been an upgrade in the secret place that can now receive that level of reality a time is going to come when we will get our own property and sometimes it can be within two three months and everything is put in place you would think it just came no the lifting in the spirit god now says now you have the capacity there are things if God gave me today, I prayed for it for years. But I look at it today and I thank God for not answering those prayers. Because had he given me, it is true that you would have been a waste. The same way you have been praying. Notice that certain things seem to never get answered in your miracle service request. And it is not always that demons are stopping it. It is God's mercy that is keeping it from you. Because it will be a waste. And if you lose it, it will take a long time before it comes. So God will keep it for you. And let you just wallow in your interpretation, calling it delay. Whereas God is keeping it like a faithful caretaker until your understanding is able to sustain it. Are we together? Yes. This book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate, 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 meditate. Value for the word of God. Listen, let me tell you, I, I look at people in this ministry and I am blessed the way God is lifting people in this ministry. Sometimes I, I, I know how I met them and I know how they came and see the power of the word of God. 
transiting people. The word of God is not a charm. The word of God is a compendium of the principles of God. The understanding of the systems of God and obtaining grace to engage them is what changes your life. Listen, a day will come you will sit down and say, God, stop giving me money. As far as my personal needs are concerned, I don't know what to do. And God says, it's an irreversible process. It will keep coming. So God will say, divert anyone to the kingdom. But to stop it, it can't happen again. Wait till I teach you on wealth this year. God taught me something new. Ah! You see how you clapped? It's a reflection of the passion and the prayer. Oh God. Well, and it's not an insult. It's a wonderful thing. But let me tell you my brothers and my sisters. If this mind does not change, your life will not change. A man is in bondage when his mind is in bondage. No matter how free he is, he is bound. Watch my knee was bound and kept in prison many things happened to him but when they bound him he spoke loudest because his mind was still alive hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the throne hallelujah encourage you sit down sit down we're going to pray we spend time worrying about people who don't like us do you know if they are not in your mind they can't do you anything wickedness only hurts you to the degree to which you allow it to step in it's true that you immune your mind that you come from a family where people say you too you want to rise you are also joining them you are coming to that that stupid place where there are you people are just jumping for nothing and you feel stupid and sometimes in that stupidity you open the gate of your mind and allow them to enter when they enter your mind you are gone set a guard over my mind it was a prayer set a guard Lord, that no matter what happens around my life, shield my mind and my life is safe. If you injure yourself, it can heal. Are we together? But the Bible says a broken spirit dryer the bones. The bones can be healthy and the spirit broken and the bones begin to reflect what is happening. You don't off this light by breaking every bulb one by one. The light is reflecting the health of a generator and the health of a switch. Just because one switch is faulty, every healthy bulb will remain off at the mercy of one switch. The focus, my brother and my sister, is not in doing physical things. This anointing and this lifting you see, it's not by physical connection. I'm a good musician. Invite me. I promise you that in the name of Jesus, I will rise. No. Let me tell you how to be invited. Stay in the secret place. Allow the spirit of God to brood. He will give you one song. He knows what men cannot resist. He will coordinate by all grace and anoint you one song that you will raise. People, and he will make sure the ear of the person who can help you hears that song. And he says, who sang this song? Come to my church. He will array every other helper and he will anoint you so lavishly that day. You, you rise like a spring up and never go down again. The systems of lifting are very easy when your understanding is in place. It is difficult for God to lift a man whose understanding is unfruitful. You will frustrate the potentials of the spirit. Listen, brothers and sisters, this is a call to sit down. This running around and premature manifestation, comparing yourself with yourself, the Bible says they are not wise. The key is to sit down. Someone will come dressing sharp like Sam is looking and try to intimidate you and say you have been in this Zaria for years. The only thing I hear is ba 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 and the empty head, empty pocket, oh yeah, take and go and buy Indomie and you feel stupid as you go to the shop with 1,000 naira and say, God, is this how you plan to disgrace me? And God will say, if I give you money, have I not insulted you? 
listen, brothers and sisters, don't be so poor that all you have is money. If all you have is an object you remove from your pocket or an object that is stored in a bank out of fear, you are truly poor. Follow me when I finish those words. I told you be fruitful. We are just starting. Then there is multiply. Then there is replenish. Then there is subdue. They are not the same. Never be poor such that all you have is just money. If all you have is money, you are extremely poor because there are many things money cannot do. Most poor people agree with what I'm saying because they have been angry about money since. Not because they understand it. You say this in an average church and people say, yes, it's true. It's just an opportunity to be angry at something they've tried to get. But it is true. God is giving you what is better than money. You know, this issue of saying this person is worth this, worth that. Oh, Pastor Alpha, you're worth 10 million. What, what nonsense. What do you mean I'm worth 10 million? you are worth 100 million 1 billion those are just carnal expressions sensual manifestations and it's not just say, oh i'm worth the blood of jesus is true too but you can be worth something solid that is greater than money hmm. hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to that there are things when you have in life only the poor need you there are things when you have in life only the rich need you there are things when you have in life only the educated need you there are things when you have in life only the uneducated need you there are things when you have in life only children need you there are things when you have in life only young people need you there are things in life when you have only old people need you but my brothers there are things when you possess in this life when you possess it the, listen 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 you walk life at your terms the great see you and call you great this is what god is giving you sit down we're going to pray listen look at me make no mistakes to think all this labor is simply to get money to your pocket if that's all i'm doing with this teaching i've insulted you i deserve to be arrested for insulting you that bad if all that we're doing in koinonia is just to get you to a point where you can have a car or a house it's an insult you don't need to hear what i'm saying to buy a car or a house what i'm giving you will make kings stand before you and look at you listen they will come with their pride and hang it like Sheba in front of your door and stand and say, teach us wisdom. Are you getting me? Yes. I pray in the name of Jesus that you understand that there is a more superior way of living. I can meet Sam and Sam can bring out some money to sow into my life as a man of God and I collect what Sam has brought and I believe I'm valuable because he gave me some money I look at the money and smile and then I run away no listen when you get what I am teaching you and putting in your mind you will find out that the equation that the world uses a young man you save for 10 years and get a house that equation is for some people. I'm exempting you from that list. Are you getting what I'm saying? Listen to me. Oh, borrow money from the bank and build a house, then repay over 30 years. No. There is a dimension that when you have, my brothers and my sisters, an estate developer will come to you and look at you and say, can I give you the privilege? I've taught you something. Look at this. Isn't it amazing that the greediest people in the world are still givers? It's just that you are not the one they give to. Let me tell you this. There is nobody that is really greedy. They just believe you are not deserving of that level of communication. Some of our parents, we will call them 
and say daddy support me and they will refuse yet a man of god will come to the city and they will carry 10 times the amount you have been begging and kneel down and say sir can you give us the privilege to sow they are not greedy they just believe it's unfair to give you that much listen your pride should not be a car your pride should not be good clothes what you are receiving you have left the level of car and clothes since what you are waiting for now is the systems that bring them i want you to believe in what i'm telling you if you think right now what you are getting is what will give you a car what will give you a car finished since 2013 14. you are receiving what will subdue nations not a car what is a car what is a bank account how many what is a visa to go to abroad london is it jupiter listen be careful the things that represent your expectations don't shortchange yourself god is giving you the keys of the hearts of kings of nations not not some little one one jeep here one this and you say now i have a jeep my mind ah oh, no please a time will come we'll just sit down and testify and we'll be grateful god just did this and that and that To be an insult that what you are learning now is just for an estate now an estate a car my brothers and my sisters be patient with god and be patient with me and watch what your life becomes it's a guarantee that i give you by god we're not talking of buying a car we're not talking of buying clothes we're talking of shutting the gates of nations I had the privilege to meet with a very great woman of God who is also a business person and while we were talking she was telling me her itinerary and she said she's on her way to France right now that the president of France they need to have meetings I said this is it whereas some mediocre somewhere is there harassing people just because he bought an expensive shoe there are people deciding the destinies of nations a president of a nation like France calling for you to sit down. This is what God is training you to become. The level of anointing you are receiving is not to compare yourself with somebody in your family to say, I am first. That's mediocrity. That is for somebody who is just passing koinonia to go to his house. That's what that person receives as the gift for just passing to go. I testify, testify that your goodness is real. I testify that your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. I testify. Your goodness is real. I testify. Listen, the work you are doing in your destiny is what you are doing now. A time will come when from morning till night, all that you will see is testimonies of men coming to serve your needs. It will surprise you and because you will not be a man of God as it were. You know, most times we've thought that these things only happen to men of God. It's not true. These are the systems of the kingdom. You've heard me say that we will all be great and that we will all know ourselves. Keep watching. Keep watching what our children will be. Keep watching. Most times people don't believe truth until it's too late. There are people today who look and say, I used to know this man. It's not used to know. God is giving you an opportunity to catch a flight that only the hand of God can limit where it is going. It is by the Spirit. Listen. This tonight is a message of hope so that this pressure to prove a point throw it out of the window you have left that realm since hear what i'm telling you you have left that realm since pressure to prove a point oh apostle I'm, my desire now is to trust god let me just get a four bedroom flat and god says but you got a four bedroom flat right when koinonia started it is just coming through the loins of time to manifest who through faith subdued kingdoms 
there are some of you let me tell you when you you see this is why when you see the physical manifestation of certain people's results the level of their transformation does not allow them to start physically at certain levels you see god jump to a height is because of the vastness of their level of understanding there are some of you here you will be surprised that your first car will be a jeep and people will be angry not because a jeep is anything god says if if i will have to be this is the fairest i can be to you based on how you have transited and then you will be surprised to find out that while you were thinking god would just give you a two-bedroom flat and this and that god will bring you to a five-bedroom flat and god will say this is just to give you the convenience to start out in life and people will be surprised because it's not in your heart it's amazing how believers mark time under certain achievements it tells you that they didn't plan to go far one man of god sent me a text sometime and he said somebody sent him five thousand dollars he said apostle i can't believe i'm holding dollars five thousand dollars and he was shouting he was saying, oh god thank you and i sent him a text after a long time i said mister <clears throat> be careful that can be the very reason why you go down if your whole life is worth five thousand dollars you are very small are you getting what i'm saying that one person here one person will be able to have the resources that can completely clear an idp camp one person without making noise this is what god is raising you to become and you will not even consider yourself to be a kingdom financier doing that you are just somebody who loves god Hi. be patient be patient i cause the spirit of hurry be patient be patient watch what our children in koinonia become when they are five ten you will look at their lives and you will see how wealthy they will become independent of your contribution by engaging the word themselves there are some of you seated here right now and all you are dreaming of is starting your church and the anointing on you with all humility even many overseers do not have it and god says sit down there just sit down because i'm not giving you a church i'm giving you territories territories not just a small church to flatter yourself and compare yourself between a group of pastors and say i am better no sir no sir i testify testify that your goodness is real I testify, testify that your goodness is real. Hey, your goodness is real. I testify. Your goodness is real. Listen, we're going to pray. Let me speak to someone here. The prayer request that you think God did not answer, He's answered it since. It's just that you didn't know how the answer comes. He answered it since. Some of you, God looked at your prayer request and all He saw was a blank sheet because everything you wrote, you are bigger than it already. And God did not see a need. God is saying, you've not given me a prayer request. You wrote nonsense there. Lord, if I can just have 30,000 every month, and Lord, if I can, and God just looks at it and says, the level of the word that is in you can only allow for minimum a hundredfold return. I say, God, but I'm a village boy, I'm a village girl, and God says, leave all of that one and stay with me. Listen, beware of the pride of unbelievers. Respect unbelievers who have gotten knowledge. But there are many unbelievers who are ignorant and you see them doing
doing, making all kinds of noise. They will rubbish you and make you look small. I sense that there is a spirit that is just going around great believers to make them feel small, to make them look like we have waited so long. Is it that God cannot give you a shoe? What is in a shoe that God cannot give you? What is in a cloth? You mean you are still using a, a second hand with one? Ah, but you should have left this level and you go back feeling stupid. And God says, my daughter, forget about this. Are you ready to pray? Be fruitful. He's giving you the keys of nations. The keys. The keys. The keys. Not the key of a territory. The keys of nations. Listen. Today by the grace of God. Koinonia has become like a place of pilgrimage. You cannot believe the number of people who want to come here for visit. I've had to restrain many of them pleading with them because I think that we may not have the facilities to truly honor them as we should. It is not location. It is not where you go. When you stay with God and the light shines from you, my brothers and my sisters, you will become a praise of nations that people will look at you and our family will say, we've been praying for rising. We didn't know God answered it in a person. We thought God would shift us to another territory. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit and say, Lord, thank you. Though my beginning may be small, though my beginning may be small, but my latter end, though my beginning may be small, if someone pray, I am fruitful. I may not yet manifest fruitfulness in my pocket. I may not yet manifest fruitfulness in a job. I may not yet manifest fruitfulness in my business, but in the name of Jesus, I declare that I am fruitful. Gentiles to my light. Gentiles to my light. Are you praying, Koinonia? Be fruitful. Be productive. God is altering your thoughts, altering your understanding. We win by the help of our spirit man and the health of our understanding God is showing you the laws of the spirit showing you success systems take your eyes away from the physical results I assure you nothing will stop them from coming men may mock you they may laugh at you where is the increase in ministry if you are really anointed where are the invitations to travel around if you are really anointed who is placing a demand on your grace they will say but forget about them and stay with the God of all flesh let him walk upon your spirit let him walk upon your mind allow that pregnancy that is in your mind Allow it to reach maturation and watch the wonder that you will produce. Your goodness is real. Testify. Your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to challenge the spirit of impatience. Listen. God is a God of speed. But God only gives you your inheritance when you are built up. Everybody say built up. Be careful with unhealthy comparison. Business people listen. Career people listen. We were all classmates. Now this one is like this. This one has two houses. And I am here. Nothing is moving. Be careful. If you see that in your life, know it's an attack. Listen, listen. Especially for our dear sisters. Listen to me, my adorable ladies. Let me tell you this. You listen to what this arrogant world without Christ is telling you. You will not amount to anything. They will make you feel stupid for loving God. 
they will make you feel stupid for staying and growing you will look so cheap and weak but you stay and let God adorn you like Hadassah and lift you like a trophy in one day one day what is a prayer point of nations come to you because you are prepared don't be ashamed of where you are you are still fruitful don't be under pressure listen listen let me tell you this if you can conquer the pressure of proving a point you have conquered life the pressure of proving a point I need to prove to the people in my family I need to prove to the people in my village they've been saying what are you doing in Zaria for five years eh? are you cost that your life is not rising hold on when God is done with you ah. my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing Let me tell you a humorous story and then we'll pray some time back I was to inv be invited somewhere one of the places that I went to minister and a man of God was called and asked and said do you know Apostle Joshua Selman and he said well I've heard about him but I don't know him and the man at the other side of the phone advised the, the people to invite me and said Can't, we don't know this man don't invite him rather invite a b c d and the person at the phone said you don't know the encounters i've had with this man it's impossible for us no matter what you say we must invite him that's what happens when you wait for god there are men that continue to pray secretly why don't you fall so that it will justify their prophecy but my brothers and my sisters when god puts something in your spirit and put something in your mind you have watched people waste their time forever they will waste their time forever it is the finger of god that lifts you and keeps you they will finish a meeting and say don't promote pastor alpha sit down here he will never rise just when they finish the man goes back and by the next day the promotion letter is out listen there are not too many people like us on earth it's important for you to understand this it's not pride it's a breed that is plucked out of fire your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. and admire today will be the things that will follow you tomorrow you would drive them and they say we can't go you called us you called us but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his methodology his systems and all other things is a guarantee except this word your certificate can only take you so far your intellect can only take you so far but my brothers and sisters i commend you to god he says i commend you not just to your certificate not just to the advantage of your tribe not just to your family connection i commend you first to god and then to the word of his grace and he leaves you with an assurance that it is capable of building you up and giving you an inheritance a time will come those who mock you will give up they will see that you have risen to a height and a level where it will be stupid to talk about you the lifter of men lifting you I like you to decree and declare no power is stopping me from being fruitful fruitful in my spirit fruitful in my mind koinonia you pray shamakato shatia embrekato sakatora skimahashalakatos and 
the anointing is growing in my spirit i'm full of the power of god full of the holy ghost some may trust in shadows and others horses but i trust in the name of the lord i may not have relatives to back me i may not have a wealthy family to support me but i have received god and the word of his grace that is able 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 to lift me outside i will pray why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal 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 hallelujah be fruitful carry that mentality every time the word of god says be fruitful the devil takes you to your atm and says how much is there every time the word says be fruitful he says so why are you thinking of paying rent you are even trusting god to raise the money for the rent does that look like fruitfulness let me tell you the devil is a liar he's a master of the sense realm and if you dwell there you will say where are the members you have 10 members and you have the effrontery to say you are fruitful are you ready to prophesy to yourself spirit soul and body i am fruitful declare and declare i will make you exceeding fruitful nations will come out of you and kings out of your loins businessman prophesy yes sir with no evidence i am fruitful i am fruitful Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Man of God, I do pray. I'm fruitful. The anointing is at work in my life. Nobody can reject the investment of the Holy Ghost upon my life. It may take time, but I'm rising in the name of Jesus Christ. My family members may not yet see the hand of God upon my life. Everybody around me may doubt the finger of God. I may even doubt it myself. But I give to the command. I am fruitful. I am fruitful. In spite of your failures, I am fruitful. Declare fruitful. Hallelujah. That's my mindset. Fruitful. 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 Take your eyes away. I am fruitful. The landlord harasses you. It's true. I'm fruitful. Still fruitful. You may not have money to prepare a meal. But in the name of Jesus, God is doing something. The wealth is not transferred to your account. The wealth is transferred to the soil of your mind. Ah, God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom power. chapter 2 and verse 5 don't forget philippians let this mind let this mindset let this body of understanding be in you listen hold on every great man you know is who he is not because of the wealth and the affluence the wealth and the influence is a receipt for something you have paid for when you see money in your pocket that money is a receipt you get receipts only when you have bought things the good shoe is a receipt the good clothes is a receipt the first class flight is a receipt it is not the reason why you are blessed it is the proof that you are already blessed 
Are you getting me now? How many of you know that sometimes when you go to a mall after you shop, you have to patiently wait on the queue for the next cashier to attend to you? That's what is happening to many of us. You have already bought the things. You are at the point of completing that transaction and then life will hand you the receipt. It will come as a car. It will come as open doors. It will come as you never having to follow the bus for anything again. It will come as you having the convenience to do certain things for the kingdom. But until then, be patient. For some of you, you are, you, have, you are standing on that queue, just waiting for your turn to come. And my brothers and my sisters, you will come up with a level of results that will surprise you. Can I tell you this? Don't be afraid of results that came through understanding. Don't be afraid of results that came through understanding. Most times you see, because of the multiple failures, like the man who planted, when you plant by the wayside, when you plant by the rock, when you plant upon thorns, that experience alone may make you think even the good soil will fail. But you see, when that seed begins to grow and becomes a great tree, it will not only bless you, it will bless the birds. It will bless everybody who is passing around. That's what God is doing with us. Are you getting what I'm saying? Very, very important. You are receiving something. You are receiving the anointing. But you are receiving an understanding. So don't let the devil come and begin to talk jargons. You will fail in your life. You will fail in your business. You will fail in marriage. You will fail in um, um, financially. You will fail spiritually. That organization, you cannot be able to run an organization. You, you cannot be able to run a ministry. Who told you that? Do you not know that it is wisdom and knowledge that creates stability? They are the stabilizers of destiny. And that's what God is doing. So we are going to pray. Lord, reconstruct my understanding to be able to receive the things that will make me fruitful. Lift your mind, your, your voice and pray. Reconstruct my understanding. Reconstruct my understanding. Lord, there are things in my mind that may not allow me to be fruitful. I acknowledge them. Are you praying? I acknowledge that there are limitations, territorial limitations, tribal limitations, sociological limitations. I've interacted with a kind of people who have kept me bankrupt mentally. They may be my family members. They may be my relatives. They may be my classmates. They may be well-meaning people. If someone pray, Lord, I give you the allowance to alter my understanding. There is something I know or do not know about ministry that is allowing me to be unfruitful. There is something I know or I do not know about finances that makes me to keep going up and down. There is something I know or do not know about the anointing that doesn't allow me to host very superior levels of grace. Quicken my understanding. Quicken my understanding. Quicken my understanding. Hallelujah. I apologize for taking time. The Holy Spirit is giving me a scripture. Isaiah 11 and verse 2. We're still praying. Isaiah 11 and verse 2. Can you see how it projected? Isaiah 11 and verse 2. Let's see if we can find it. Let me turn it here to save time. Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 2. I'm handing over to you a secret. It's a secret that make men really great. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The sevenfold manifestation of the spirit of God. And the spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Verse 3. It says, and shall make him of quick understanding quick all of these spirits synergize themselves to make sure your understanding is quick this is what you have to pray a quickened understanding is a real miracle you can have as a student a five point cgpa yet your understanding is unfruitful the fortitude to understand life to know wisdom is understanding You become a priority personality by default. Your understanding upgrades you. Like you are upgraded from economy to a business class to first class. Your understanding upgrades you to a level in life where you never have to come down again. You are not trying to stay. It has stabilized you at a realm. Are you ready to pray finally? Lord, quicken my understanding. 
I confess that there are gaps in my knowledge I confess that there are gaps I I am learning already but my foundation is fighting my mindset I am I am still loyal to old ideas I am still loyal to old concepts Lord is taking me a hard time to acclimatize myself to a new system of lifting I cry for mercy and I cry for grace is someone praying I am still sympathetic to a, a depraved level of thinking that will not allow you to do business with me. Hallelujah. A prophetic word is only useful when there is a vessel. The vessel is your heart. The vessel is your mindset. When the Holy Spirit renews your mind, it's like, it's like a welder creating a container. And once everything has been welded well, then prophecy can deposit that spiritual investment upon you. And you will find out that you will retain. Strong men retain wealth. Not money, wealth. The wealth of the anointing. Retained by strength not the strength of the flesh be strengthened in your inner man inner man that's where true true strong people are even physically if you are stronger than me it doesn't guarantee that you can defeat me is that true because my mind can create a strategy that will defeat you that's how it is it is not always to the physically strong it is not always in physical agility but the health of your spirit mind and a well-developed understanding you see i teach you and continue to stand with the holy spirit to work on our minds because as your mind begins to seek transformation it must be guided are we together the mind is like a womb seeking for any kind of seed and there are other seeds in other sessions i will show you that there is the part two of that parable that Jesus gave. We'll go to the part two. While men slept. That's the part two of that story. Another sower also came and sowed a seed and left. So there are many sowers. And there are times you can open up your heart because you want to succeed. You open up your heart to zodiac and Scientology and all kinds of things to try to manipulate the cosmic world to release energy and once have I spoken and twice have we heard that all power belongs to God there are certain liftings if it happens it is only God that can do it are we together I declare over your life in the name of Jesus be fruitful in the name of Jesus be fruitful in your spiritual life be fruitful in ministry be fruitful in business be fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare for many of you it will do you like a dream for many of you this is the week that your manifestation begins in the name of Jesus and I speak over you that my God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency that you will abound in every good thing I decree and declare be fruitful be fruitful in your spirit mind be fruitful in your mind may the spirit of grace coordinate you to the exact information required for your lifting and I pray for courage there are people you have to say no to and have the grace to say look I love you but I have a track record of you being the reason why my mind will not receive the things of God you don't have to hate people but it's time to construct your environment creatively to allow the Spirit of God bless you you don't have a serious meeting outside on the road you go to a boardroom you need to make that atmosphere for the spirit of revelation to come and sometimes you need to take away distractions 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 it can come in form of good friends who will never allow you sit down and think 
and this affects all ages and all ranges there are people who have made a commitment to go nowhere you don't have to hate them like abraham when you get to the base of the mountain plead with them to remain there if not they will not allow you offer isaac and be the father of nations are we together i decree and declare this weekend for many of you by the spirit of the living god return with strange testimonies there is an increased grace for performance in this house i decree again in the name of jesus return with strange testimony hallelujah give jesus praise all through this week the weekend into next week i'd like you to carry this mindset be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful the focus is not just on your hands the focus is on your mind engage what i've told you go and sit down go on youtube sit down don't search nonsense don't go on youtube and sit down searching movie and watching this i was teaching the leaders in my opinion i'm not on any social media platform but i think one of the most useful social media platforms in my opinion is youtube it's true there is almost nothing that is needed for your lifting even customized to edit nonsense that you will not find there you have the liberty to edit a lot of things and go for exact knowledge whether it is about the anointing whether it's about this you can see it and get it away if it's not useful for you but take away laziness please 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 the phone god gave you is for your mind are we together yes the song is ministering to your spirit the truths are ministering to your spirit and your mind sit down sit down wake up in the night be intentional carry a notebook carry videos carry this you may not have money to buy cds but god was able to ask somebody to send you two thousand it's not just miracle alert it's so that you can buy data and sit down what is the secret to this and this engage your mind engage your mind engage your mind don't be like the foolish virgins engage your mind carry extra oil it was time that showed who was wise and who was foolish all of them started as the same women all virgins time is what separated the wise from the foolish are we together please minimize roaming around the street if you cannot sit down in one place it's an attack on you it truly is an attack if you don't have anything doing outside for god's sake go back to your house go back to your house you must not just go around visiting everybody people are busy the time for visitation will come when you enter your sabbath but for now sit down i expect every young man to be up and doing you wake up tomorrow morning you don't just yawn and cross your legs you get up and sit down it's time to do something in the name of jesus what am i doing today i'm learning on the anointing you write you are studying scripture remember god is giving you an international ministry and you are not making noise you don't need to know how much the price of suit is settle down now your one two three hours daily prayer keep to it keep to it keep to it you wake up in the morning the cold is too much say i resist you in the name of jesus i must get up the foolish man because of the weather will not plant he will say it's too cold and he will not have anything to reap in harvest are we together now and please let's help ourselves you see me speaking to you passionately our time is gone if you see somebody who is not settling down seriously and not serious with his life if you have access and you are a stakeholder in his life you can call him and say look my brother i appreciate you a lot but you are gallivanting up and down it's time for you to sit down today you are in this person's house next tomorrow you are there next tomorrow you are in abuja next tomorrow you are in lagos next tomorrow you are in mina please sit down one thing is needful this is what mary has chosen sit down your phone should not be for watching movie your phone is not for watching indian film it's not for soup opera 
You will not die if you don't watch those things. My brothers and my sisters, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. There is a price for greatness. Every time you want to slack, just remember your children. Whether or not you have physical children. Remember your children. Remember your aged parents. Remember the generation. It will jack you up. Sleeping 12 hours, you are causing your destiny. Are we together? You must trust God for grace. I told you, especially for the gentlemen, minimize snoring your night time. Night times are times when revelations come from heaven, looking for men who are alert to come into their lives. Go and sell two of your suits and buy data and sit down. If you need to trust God to buy a good phone and it is for the purpose of this, I'm praying for you. May my God give you a good phone. If the purpose of buying a phone is to prove to somebody that the word of God is working, may God make what I preach tonight, after all this time I've spent, to really re-echo in your head again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. We give you all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. You are here and you are not born again. Jesus said, ye, please keep standing. I notice that every time I'm about to make the altar call, people start leaving. Please, that's not correct. Let's be patient. When the altar call is taken, let's respect them. There are people here, on hearing me speak, the Holy Spirit began to speak to you. He said, there is need for a renewal. There is need to begin a fresh walk. You are here, overflow one, two, three, and anywhere else online. I want to give you an opportunity to hand your life over to Jesus and for many of us who dedicate your life to Jesus. There's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to be afraid of. Two minutes for this. Our time is gone. Wherever you are, summon the courage. Make your way quickly and come to the front. I believe there has to be someone Jesus is talking to. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't wait for someone to come before you come. Is there someone God is speaking to tonight? You want to rededicate your life? Please, if there are people outside, clear the way for them to come in. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I believe there has to be somebody. Are we together now? Are there people coming? Let me know. God bless you. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Thank you. Thank you. Now, lift your hands, everyone. Please, if you're joining them, come quickly and join them. Except for the one holding a child. You can stand with your child. Um, you're welcome, sir. God bless you. You're welcome, ma. Quickly, quickly, please. If you're coming from any of the overflows, please rush, please rush, please rush. Our time is gone. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Now, I'd like you to pray after me and please mean it from the depth of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it again. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I have heard your word and I have come to you just as I am. I surrender my life I surrender my all to you. I receive you as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. I decree and declare that from today, I move forward ever and backward never. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for these ones. You have brought them by your spirit. I pray that you preserve them. May they begin a journey tonight, O oh God, that will last through eternity. I decree and declare by the Spirit of the living God that you will go from glory to glory. This is the beginning of great days in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. Please follow the gentleman waving his hands, all of you. Just follow this gentleman and there will be a group of people. To Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching